Avtar Singh and his neighbours are still in shock at what happened here last week. They saw monkeys being shot just a few metres from their apartments. In this video, Avtar can be heard questioning one of the men, who said he's from Malaysia's Wildlife and National Parks Department. During the confrontation, another man throws what appear to be several dead monkeys into the back of a pickup truck. The man with the rifle, he just saw when the monkey sat down on a branch there, he just shoot down the monkey fall. And then from where one fellow went in, took the monkey out by the tail with the baby, the baby still cling to the body, come and throw in the truck. Others here say they saw some monkeys being shot at close range after they had been trapped in a cage. The State Wildlife Department denied those allegations and said there were no elements of cruelty in its operation. We found this on the ground. It appears to be a 12-gauge shotgun shell. A website that sells hunting equipment describes these shells as top-notch for large birds and smaller game. The State Wildlife Department said it had acted on complaints about damage to property and threats to people's safety. Some of the people who live here say they've coexisted peacefully with the monkeys for years and are disturbed by what they consider an inhumane approach to dealing with them. It was heartbreaking to watch. It's a sin to kill. I told them not to hurt the monkeys, but they wouldn't listen. Lawyers say long-tailed macaques should not be killed because they are protected by law. The Wildlife Department cannot kill any animals. In the event that an animal has become a nuisance or is a disturbance, then the solution is very simple. The Wildlife Department is supposed to capture the said animal or animals and relocate them, not kill them. This is not the first time the Wildlife Department has been accused of acting illegally. Two years ago, witnesses say at least 20 dusky leaf langurs were shot dead by Wildlife Department personnel on grounds they had attacked humans, even though the species is listed as endangered under international conservation law. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.